So my name's John, I work for an animation company called Kenoti, and we do lots of digital animation, and uh, we do a lot of work for uh, the youth, youth market, and you, you'll hear this market research about the youth market, that they uh, now interact, and that uh, media is layered, it's not linear, and uh, typical youth will be blogging, instant messaging, uh, phoning while doing their homework, etc., etc. Next. <laughs> so, so I think uh, we'd all agree that uh, we have much greater choice in most areas of our lives, and this uh, notion of choice just seems to be infinitely increasing all the time. So this is 160 uh, tubes of toothpaste, which is how many I counted in my local Sainsbury's. So the notion that uh, toothpaste no longer just cleans your teeth, it makes you more attractive, etc., etc. I'm sure plenty of us will remember when I was growing up, there's three channels, no morning TV. Uh, finished at midnight, and I know my colleague Berta said in Iceland they had no TV on Thursdays on, until 1987. And in, uh, before 1983, they had no TV in July in Iceland. <laughs> so yeah, most of us make the assumption that freedom gives us more choice, it enriches our lives, it's a good thing, it's fantastic. Nobody wants to go and live in Iceland in 1980. Also because it's free, probably freezing and boring, but um, generally choice is seen as a really good thing and a, uh, you know, an incredibly enriching thing to our lives. However, there's uh, more and more research sort of stating that um, choice is actually making us more miserable in society. Uh, on the right here we've got, uh, and, and just so that, check my notes. So yeah, we're just sort of overrun by brand names. <laughs> so that was Microsoft Word with all the, all the uh, uh, toolbars open, which is just a ridiculous amount. So first thing about too much choice is paralysis. You've got too many choices, you tend to not act at all. One example being my girlfriend Sue. She wanted a new computer, went on Dell, had an overwhelming choice and ended up doing nothing at all. Didn't buy a computer. Um, and the reason she needed a new computer because the year before she'd been on eBay, she bought a computer and she bought the one that looked the nicest and uh, it didn't really serve her needs very quickly. So second thing is bad decision making. When you're overrun with too many choices, you tend to simplify your strategy, uh, which, will, which clearly doesn't serve you. So the third thing is lack of satisfaction. The term leakage is, is used to describe the context in which the choice was made, i.e. angst and regret about what you're not choosing will continue to be associated with the selection you made and that was probably apparent for Sue in choosing her first computer at least. So I assert that this is making the country more miserable. Britain has the second highest rate of mental illness in the, uh, behind the USA and the world, and the group with the, the highest rate that suffer from this the most is 16 to 24 year olds, and the group within that is uh, the highest social class, and they happen to be girls as well. Uh, so I would argue that that is a, a result of aspiration and over uh, saturation of choice. However, Jean-Paul Sartre argued that <laughs> ultimate freedom is having no choice at all, or put it a different way, having only one choice. So removing the options removes the negative effects. Or if you have one choice, then that's what you choose. So an example would be when I was growing up, you just had one telephone service, which is British Telecom, and uh, although you couldn't take the phone out with you, or you couldn't even take another room, it just, you, there was just no realm that you would complain about the service and you wouldn't want to upgrade it and, and the phone never broke. It was just, that, that's just the phone. So I would argue that simplicity is a good thing in all areas of design, uh, whether it be products, visual design, interface design, or even the design process as a, as a creative, I think simplicity is really important and it's, uh, it's been lost as things evolve in society. And also the things that uh, designs evolve can actually improve the quality of life uh, for society. So Google is a great example whereby it's uh, really designed with uh, elegance and beauty, but what it also does is manage our choices and acts as an agent of choice. So incredibly complex bit of coding, but essentially it's a logo in a box. Uh, Steve Jobs is another of Mac, is a really good example of uh, simplicity in design. iPod and iPhone are great examples. When the iPod came out, there were other, other MP3 players that had other features, uh, voice control, FM radio, and all these other stuff, but the iPod won out because of its elegant, beautiful, and simple, intuitive design. However, even the iPod gets updated, and uh, it, it just, uh, I think it'd be great if uh, people made products these days. Uh, I guess the point is, is how, there's never been a design classic lately, 
that doesn't get updated, doesn't get changed, it doesn't get improved. Whenever there's a software release, uh, there, there's always an update that is uh, is never particularly satisfying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 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 Graduates, I think it's really difficult for a graduate these days from the days I graduated, whereby you've got so many specialities to go in. If you're an animator, you can learn Flash, you can learn After Effects, etc., uh, etc. Et and uh, also, I find in my creative process, there's almost an infinite resource of, uh, of great stuff on the internet. And quite often, if I've got four days to do something, I'll spend three days looking at uh, stuff on the internet, and then I, I just I'm, I'm paralysed as to as to what to start. Very different process from the old days when I just used to go to the library. And uh, you know you'd have four books and illustrations, and that's your lot. So um, so yeah, just uh, just to say that uh, uh, that actually happened while I was doing this talk. There's so much information on this stuff that um, I suffer paralysis. So I almost didn't do it. There are bad decisions made. It's, uh, it's been through several drafts and um, blah blah blah. And uh, yeah, so just to conclude. Uh, I won't be throwing out my computer on my iPod, or I, and I will upgrade my software, but as a creative, it's nice to remind myself that all I need is a pen and paper in my imagination, and that creatives will still have access to the complete self-sufficiency that we did when we were children. Thank you very much.